Hey everyone, welcome to a very unfortunate episode of Ampro Engineering. This episode is going to focus on what everybody's talking about right now, at least all content creators on YouTube, which is COPPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act of 1998. I'm not going to get into the semantics about what all COPPA means and what's in store for creators because there's a million uh, YouTube channels that have done it way better than I can possibly do on this channel. but. What I wanted to talk about very briefly, and I'm serious here because for once in my entire existence, I made a script, which is crazy, but I had to make a script because I simply can't believe the information that I found. So before I, before I even begin, what I want to mention is that there are certain things that we have done in history um, as a civilization that have changed mankind. For example, inventing the wheel, creating fire, putting a human being on the moon and I genuinely put YouTube right up there and the reason for that is because YouTube is a very very unique thing that we have kind of created as a species because now anybody can upload content onto YouTube and make it available for everybody with access to a computer on earth and that is very very powerful this means that for once in our existence, people are able to express their own views. We're not just being subject to views, beliefs by massive corporations, by conglomerates, by the wealthy. Now we are able to show people, hey, this is my little toy that I'm working on, or this is my big car, or these are my views and hopefully positive things, okay? YouTube as an entity, I think is profound. It's an absolutely profound step in our existence as humans, which is why what is happening is so terrifying. Now, I want to talk about something that I, I, I can't be the only person that knows this or understands this. To better understand my disbelief, I have put the purple filter on the light, which hopefully makes it a little more believable or does nothing at all. The basics about COPPA are that if you create content, you have to ensure that the content is appropriately listed if it is going to be directed to children or adults. That is what we have been told. That is what YouTube has told us that we must do. If we have content, you must understand what they're saying. If you have content that a child could find appealing, then the content is child related. This means that this 1980s toy car, this very expensive toy car, this insanely expensive toy robot can be appealing to children despite the fact that no child has liked this car since 1989. Uh, most children can't afford the cost of this uh, and the same with this here. But the fact of the matter is these can be viewed as appealing to a child. Doesn't matter if you start your video with every single expletive you possibly can, it doesn't matter. And there is a slew, an absolute slew of things that will happen if you... Number one, and these, by the way, look in the description for a ton of links. Number one, um, the advertising is now no longer going to be personalized. I don't make any money on this channel anyway. There's a number of things, there's end cards that won't be there. There's a couple of, of horrible things, for example, comments go away. I know most people on YouTube say that the comments section is a cesspool. Perhaps I'm simply lucky, but I believe that the people that view my content, 99.5% of my subscribers are fantastic. I have met people all over the world. I've chatted back and forth. I've helped customers with questions they've had and on and on because of the comments section. But the comments section is a way to which is what I'm doing, is to collect data. I have no idea if the person I'm talking to is 50, 150, or five. I have absolutely no idea. That is one of the reasons why child's content can't have comments. Something else that is terrifying is that your content is no longer searchable. If somebody messages me and goes, hey, where do you get the front suspension for the Hornet? Then I'll just say, well, just Google Ampro Hornet and you'll see everything that's available for the car. That is no longer going to be the case if there's content targeted towards children. I could go on and on and on about RC creators in general that have classified their content as adult. They say, look, these are not toys for children. This is not a toy for children. This, okay, it's not RC, but you get the idea. The thing is, we all believe that the FTC is a bunch of idiots. 
please understand this very clearly. The FTC is not the bad guy here, despite how poorly they perhaps looked at the press conference covering all this. The FTC understands that the vast majority of people out there do create content that's for everybody. And so you might be thinking, okay, well, but YouTube says for kids or for adults. There's no, there's no third option, but there is. I made a video last night talking about all of this, COPPA, all these things, and how I'm upset and on and on, and how this is gonna be a disaster. But before I published that, I decided to do a little bit more reading and get this. On the Frequently Asked Questions page for the FTC, here is specifically what the FTC, not YouTube, not some random person, but what the Federal Trade Commission says. Under Section E, Photos, Videos, and Audio Recordings, number four proceeds with the following question. Does the amended rule prohibit adults such as parents, grandparents, teachers, or coaches from uploading photos of children? That's a very valid question, but here's what they say. COPPA only covers information collected online from children. It does not cover information collected from adults that may pertain to children. Thus, COPPA is not triggered by an adult uploading photos of children in a general audience site or in the non-child directed portion of a mixed audience website. It does go into more detail. We are a mixed audience platform. And yes, my content can be you know, attractive to children, but it's designed for everybody. So I wanted to gather some more information as this is just Q&A from the FTC. So I went to the actual source, which was not easy. And I've got a link to this too. And now this is the actual law. And I believe this was done in 2015. A website or online service that is directed to children under the criteria set forth in paragraph one, and that's up right now, of this definition, but does not target children as its primary audience shall not be directed to children if it does not collect personal information from any visitor prior to collecting age information. That's, that's pretty key because technically speaking, no one under 13 should be on YouTube. Secondly, prevents the collection, use, or disclosure of personal information from visitors who identify themselves as under the age of 13 without first complying with the notice and parental consent provisions of this part. My non-law degree very clear, very clear, I'm not a lawyer, tells me that there is a third option. Where is it? Why are we only being told kids not for kids? I suddenly, I mentioned a moment ago that I love YouTube, but suddenly I'm curious, what the hell is going on here? Because the FTC clearly understands that there is not for kids and not for kids. There's also a general audience. If I have misunderstood something, I cannot be moving this information on to people. Please comment away if I've misunderstood something. If I have not misunderstood something, then there's a problem here. What is YouTube doing? What have they figured out that will make them more money that's that's the question here. Look, I don't think I'm wrong because I did some more digging and I've got a link here of, of a lawyer on YouTube. So I, I don't know if that's very good or not, who just described everything that I found last night, um, but in more of a conspiracy kind of way. So I do believe I'm onto something. Here's what we have to do. Take a deep breath. Let's relax, okay. It is not the end of the world. We don't know what is gonna happen come January 1st. We still have a month and, and, and then some for things to change. What we need to figure out is how to tell YouTube that we found something that has not been made public by YouTube. In closing, remember this. You must go sign the petition, link in the description, about the situation that we're facing here. You've also got to contact the FTC and make the FTC tell people that, hey, we have a third option. I don't know why Google or YouTube hasn't leveraged that. I'm sure the FTC is aware of this, don't get me wrong. But what I wanna understand is what's happening. Where is this option? Sign the petition, contact the FTC, and do so understanding that you represent whatever community that you're concerned about. Do not use expletives, do not, do not lower yourself. Express yourself well. Let the FTC know 
that we are not a bottom feeder group. We are educated, we are opinionated, and we understand what is at stake here. So don't rely on your emotions, double check whatever information that you receive or you hear, or in the case of this particular video that you watch, we are not in the end game, okay? There, something can still change. Remember that the creators are still the ones in charge. YouTube and Google only make money because of the creators. Without us, there is no YouTube. If they get rid of anything relating to children or, or that is child-centric, you can say goodbye to YouTube. And more importantly, Google could say goodbye to revenue. Apparently it's not that much revenue, which is why the children's data collection had been happening, but nevertheless, it's revenue. And remember, the wealthy never want to lose money. Please take the words of President Thomas J. Whitmore to heart. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive.